What's up guys and girls, Jesse Daly here. Welcome back to Daily Weather and welcome back to today in the tropics. We have tropical storm Sarah spinning near the Gulf of Mexico. Right now it's impacting Central America. Let's take a look at what it may do in the near future. Okay, my friends, let's take a very quick look at what's happening today here in the tropics for Friday, November 15th, 2024. And as of Friday at 12 p.m. Central Daylight Time, the National Hurricane Center continues to monitor Tropical Storm Sarah, which is currently impacting portions of Central America, including Honduras and Belize. Sarah is currently packing maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour and is moving toward the west slowly. This system is expected to move across Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, where it will likely lose intensity pretty quickly over land. However, significant impacts are still expected across this region, including a lot of rain. So if you are watching from this area or are going to be near this area, please stay safe and take the advice of your local authorities. Now, the National Hurricane Center is not as bullish as before regarding a turn into the Gulf of Mexico after the system passes across the Yucatan Peninsula. However, some of the computer models are still showing the system continuing to stay organized here and possibly heading toward Florida. It really is just too soon to tell, and we just need to continue to watch this closely, but also be prepared. Here's a look at the model on ensembles of the global forecast system and the models here are pr in pretty good agreement that the cyclone will continue to stay somewhat organized as it moves across the Gulf of Mexico and potentially toward Florida. The same is true for the European model ensembles showing Sarah moving across the Gulf of Mexico. The European is not as bullish however uh, but again definitely need to watch this very closely. As I mentioned in my last video hurricane season officially ends on November 30th and that doesn't mean that all tropical activity will stop on that day. However, the Climate Prediction Center's Global Tropics Hazards Outlook is not predicting an increased chance of development over the next few weeks. Again, doesn't mean that it can't happen, but it's certainly good to see that there is not an elevated risk, at least at this time. I believe we all should still continue to follow the National Hurricane Center for the absolute latest updates. And if you would please consider hitting that subscribe button here on Daily Weather, I'd truly appreciate it. I love making these videos from here in the Caribbean, and I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, my friends, and as always, I will keep an eye on the tropical skies come rain or shine.